Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Fitzpatrick, Bobby Fitzpatrick is dead. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Fitzpatrick, what's going on in his head? All right there, kids. Don't all these glossy magazines get on your friggin' nerves? Who the hell really cares who Jordan's shagging? I don't know about you, but I just wish the press would leave the poor man alone and let him watch his Formula One. They all have the same type of name, don't they? Sounds like you're on the bloody phone. Hello. Okay. I'm just waiting for the new edition of See Ya. I'm going to start up my own celebrity mag. I don't know when to call it. How's it going there, fella? Or boss like lad? All good news agents. ACP. What's going on with these teenagers letting their jeans drop down around their asses, eh? Is there an international belt shortage or something? Forget friggin' earthquake aid, eh? get these kids some friggin' belts, I say. I'm not being funny here, but when I'm in W. H. Smith browsing through my latest issue of Caravan and Monthly, I don't want to look down in front of me and see the crack of some spotty lad's ass. It wouldn't be too bad if your undies were clean. I can tell what you had for dinner last night, mate! Dirty bastard. And bus drivers psychotic. There are two kinds of bus drivers, in my opinion. First, are the ones who make Jessica Tandy look like Nigel Friggin' Mansell. You know the ones I mean. The ones who whistle as they drive and listen to Radio Merseyside. Then they wait ten minutes at every friggin' bus stop. Even the ones they're not supposed to stop at. But at least you're not in any danger from them. The second lot, the complete tennis hoppers. Pop quiz, hot shot. <laughs> I was going into town the other day and it turned into a scene from Death Race 2000. I'm telling you. He was trying to beat the world land speed record. He never stopped for one friggin' passenger. People were putting their arms out and having them ripped off at the shoulder. It was bloody bedlam. I was going so fast, I thought I was going to end up in 1955 with Marty McFly. American police shows, they're all really fast-paced, aren't they? Not like ours. You can get 12 episodes of the bill into one pre-title sequence of CSI. I love it. CSI Vegas, CSI Miami. I'm waiting for CSI hating myself. <laughs> what a friggin' concept that is. Never short of a corpse or two there, I'll tell you. <laughs> Bring back Juliet Bravo, I say. Coppers doing what they do best. Frig all! <laughs> He's dead. He's, dead. He's Garby. Garby. Let's get on the sofa with Barbie. With Barbie. Everybody join in with the fun. With the fun. Hello, kids. And welcome to the first of my weekly sofa chats with the famous dead. My first guest is a Liverpool legend and ex-boy band member, Mr John Lennon. Hello, John. All right there, Bob. I want to ask you the question, John, lad. Go ahead, fella. Well, years ago, you said that the Beatles were bigger than Jesus Christ. How tall was Jesus, mate? Well, Bob, it was rumoured that he was about five foot nine. So you were right then. I'm no liar, Bob. I'm five foot eleven. Paul and George were both five foot ten, like. So if you stood all three of us on top of each other, we would make an amazing seventeen foot seven. Officially bigger than Jesus Christ. Cool, lad, yeah. But but what about Ringo? Ringo was a tit. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. No problem, Bob, me old mucker. Next week, kids, Motown legend, Mr Marvin Gaye. He's dead. He's dead. He's Garby. He's Garby. Let's get on the sofa with Barbie. with Barbie. Everybody join in with the fun. With the fun. Valentine's Day. What a bloody big con. <laughs> I'm only jealous because I'm in between beds at the moment. You buy her a card. She buys you a card. You buy her some flowers. She buys you a Gillette gift set. You have an incredibly expensive night out in a restaurant whose name you can't pronounce. The Scarly Wileys or something. Then one of you is sick in the back of a private hire taxi on the way home. All this, just to say you love each other. <laughs> just let me watch the friggin' match on Sunday in peace. I'll love you forever. For free. Guitar hero. Not get me head around that one, you know. You sit in a room and play a plastic fake guitar with no strings. You try and keep along with a real rock band performing a smash hit from yesteryear. What's going on there? What next? Trombone hero. Get yourself a real guitar and later play it, people. Stop pissing about. All these Japanese tourists coming here to go on the friggin' magical mystery tour, eh? What's all that about, like? You travel halfway across the friggin' world to see a knockdown club and a few plaques. It's usually pissing down with rain when I see them in their multicoloured cagoules. Get them over here and shove them all on the ten A, I say. <laughs> then they'll get a bloody mystery tour to remember. <laughs> Don't you hate those magazines in the shops that say, Build your old Spanish galleon. 
Build your own Titanic <laughs> in 4,332 issues. Each issue is a separate piece. <laughs> Would you be asked? With the amount of money it costs, you could build your own real Spanish galleon. Waste of time, if you ask me. I'm waiting for the build your own Heather Mills doll. Only two issues. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Fitzpatrick. Bobby Fitzpatrick is dead. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Fitzpatrick. What's going on in his head? Well, I take it.